Look. They rather talk behind your back and you don't need that. Just keep your eyes on the prize and best believe that. You gon' make it out. You gon' make it big. If they don't see it now, then they gon' see it then. I ain't have to get right nobody just for to make it out. I stay solid, stay humble even in the drought. You never knew I went through shit because I kept a smile. with the skills always keeping it real back with another video and we're updating you guys on today's process we know that it's been a journey and uh, we're flat as you can see you know i got on a, um, i got on a, a baseball jersey today and you know what i'm saying i'm a victory's baseball jersey is coming soon but i like baseball jerseys but anyway to the update basically on my surgery today is may 1st um soon on the 8th it will be a month uh that i'm pre-op post-op and it's been a journey i'd see my nipples today and it kind of like freaked me out last week it was crazy too it was like when i fell out it was like i needed to chill because i was doing a lot before that you know what i'm saying though dogs i was doing a lot and then, like, yeah, it's been a journey. So, when that day, uh, I can't even really remember what day that was. Like, it ain't fucking my memory or nothing, but I just can't remember what day that was. But I was doing, like, TikToks. I did, like, full TikToks, and I was moving around, and I was dancing, and I was, like, <clears throat> laughing and having a good time and shit. And I was just, like, time to change the bandages. Now, I did ask a friend of mine that had the same surgery at the same doctor basically what she did now this is a lesson for everyone everybody's body is not the same um it was april 21st when it happened and everybody's body is not the same i removed my bandages off my breast and it, the nipple started to kind of peel and when the nipple started to peel it kind of gave me like a weird out feeling and i was feeling woozy or whatever and I decided to sit on the side of the tub. And I decided to sit on the side of the tub. Dumbest thing ever in the world to do. If you're feeling woozy, do not sit on the side of a tub. Do not sit on anything that is hard metal. <clears throat> do not sit on anything that basically you can fall and hit your head. There are ways, certain procedures that you can actually sit for it not to take effect if you're going to faint or pass out and whatnot. And that's what happened to me when I decided to sit down. Um, I took the other nipple off. When I took the other nipple off, it kind of gave me that like woozy feeling again. And I felt like I wanted to throw up. That video will be like posted in there. It's also on TikTok and on Instagram. So definitely head over to those social medias and you'll see that as well. But it was a really like scary situation because I passed out, woke up, didn't know what just happened at all. Um, couldn't really see at all at first, and it was weird. I scared the f <laughs> I scared the fuck out of my wife, and she wants to tell her part. It's bad. Yeah. So um, when it happened, um, I just kept thinking that I used to feel like this, and when I had my surgery, and I would take my bandages off, I would say I need to lay down. I should have told her to lay down when she kept saying she was feeling it, but I was literally like recording the nipples and looking at the nipples because like we literally it's the first time we yeah, taking she, off. Well, this is the second time we've seen it, but you know it's yeah, been. But just like to pause weeks. her real quick, yeah, she kept trying to blame herself or whatever, basically because what happened like she could have prevented it. And I told her there's no way that she could have prevented it at all, and if she wasn't recording, you know what I'm saying, 
we wouldn't have seen how crazy that has or to give the experience to other people. Maybe I had to be an example. So here goes. Okay. And y'all gonna actually so y'all gonna actually see in the video everything from when she was saying how she felt nauseous to when she um, fell back and um, hit her head inside the tub and then me screaming and um, yeah, y'all gonna see all that. So I wanted to give y'all, I wanted to let our neighbors, I mean roommates give y'all their opinion um, from their point of view. Um, Cause I actually got mad at them for not hearing me scream, um, and they was actually watching a scary movie, so they didn't think that was us screaming. Well, me was that was screaming, but when I tell y'all, I was so freaked the fuck out. Y'all definitely gonna see it, so just keep watching. Y'all about to see it right now. Enjoy the rest of y'all update. <laughs> I'm but, just glad you were right though, cause that shit was like. That's a mental life. I'm saying I'm about to throw up. I feel like I'm about to throw up. I feel busy as fuck, for real. Oh, shit. <laughs> But yeah, guys, that was a very scary, detrimental kind of like situation. And I don't wish that on nobody, but I was able to go through that very smoothly, even though it did happen. I, you know what I'm saying? Adapted, my body adapted. I was able to, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> be qu quite normal with it, you know what I'm saying? I went to the hospital. They did do their checks and think I came out, everything's fine. But. If you're feeling woozy, you're feeling nauseous, you're feeling kind of dizzy, sit down on something soft. Or if you can't do that, sit down and put your head in between your your uh, your knees. But I'll be back maybe before my one month update. But that's today's video. Make sure you go follow me on TikTok. Of you guys, those dogs, we're gonna be so 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 lit soon. But let this recovery run out. And I'll be back with I'll be back with some visuals guys and giving you guys another update on this procedure. It has been really great because I'm just excited that the titties are gone. If you know what I mean. Like they're gone. They're they're gone. Like they're like not here. They're I don't have the chest capacity for a lot anymore at all. But yeah. Thanks for watching my video. You guys are dope. Keep getting the bag. Dough is what we got to go. You know. Love you. Later. Still here. Y'all don't want to leave? It's cool. Y'all don't gotta leave. Oh, I'm gonna have fun later. <laughs> Still in the way.
Mm -hmm. See you guys in the next video. video.